What's up you guys? I hope you're all doing well. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? And if you're returning, welcome back. Before I get into this energy, I just want to remind you that this may not resonate with everybody, okay? Only take what fits, leave what doesn't. Don't force this to fit your situation, okay? This could be the past, the present, or the future. And you can switch the roles around as needed, all right? So let's get into this energy, okay? But honestly, I feel like there's somebody that's in your energy that is, it's like they, it's like they aren't giving in to temptation right now, okay? They're mirroring you. Actually, actually, hold up. This is definitely manipulation, okay? Somebody is trying to mirror you, okay? You could be celibate right now, okay? Somebody is trying to manipulate you into thinking that they're mirroring you, okay? They want you to think that they're on the same path, okay? They want you to think that they're on the same spiritual path that you are, okay? Or, or something like that. Or they want to just mirror your energy as in like, if you're not having sex with other people, then they're not having sex with other people, okay? Yeah. But I feel like something is about to come out about that in regards to that. Okay. okay. Something is about to, like, this person's, um, uh, something's about to backfire, okay? Something is about to backfire for this person, okay? I feel like you're about to, like, get the truth or something, okay? Holy Spirit, what is the overall message for the collective? What do they need to be aware of, okay? What do they need to know? Okay, I'm getting that you could be finding out about a soul contract that this person has, okay, with somebody else. Maybe this person has created a soul tie with someone else as well, okay? Yeah, so you're going to be finding out about some sort of deceit here, okay? Yeah, something is going to come to light, okay, about this deceit. Yeah, I'm getting, like, multiple options, okay? Somebody was trying to mirror you, okay? Make it seem like they weren't, you know, having sex with other people or, or doing things with other people, okay? They were trying to mirror you and make it look like, like they're doing what you're doing, okay? That's the oldest trick in the book, okay? Is to mirror someone, okay? Because then you you trick them into thinking that they're just like you, okay? Yeah, that's manipulative as fuck, okay? Something about... You could be at a distance from this person, but this person... Got hoes. In different area codes. Area codes. Hoes. Okay, this person's got hoes in different area codes, okay? But <laughs> they could also be meeting these people online as well, okay? But I'm also getting that something could be over, okay? They could be holding back, okay, either from you or these options. So if they're not holding back from you, or if they're holding back from you, then they're definitely not holding back from these options. So they're holding back from this connection, yeah. Oh, they're holding back from this connection because that means that they're going to have to be vulnerable. Okay. Yeah. That means that they'll actually have to like, you know, own up to what they did and, and, and they'll have to actually like, you know, be responsible. Okay. These other, these other options are not holding them to any standards. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, someone is, I mean, they're holding back because they, they haven't made up their mind yet. But we don't, we don't do that, okay? We put value on our energy, okay? And if somebody wants to make us an option, bye, Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to sit around and wait for you to make a decision. I'm sorry. I, I want to be cherished. I want to be loved. Uh, I want someone to have 
complete 100% knowing that I'm for them, okay? Like, that's just me, you know? Like, so, yeah. <laughs> they could be, um, there's Leo energy here as well. Something about, um, like, them holding back from you is, they think that this is going to, like, help them heal or something like that, or they think that it's going to make them happy, okay? Because with you, it's like they really truly care about you. They really love you. So it's like they're vulnerable with you and they don't want to feel that way, okay? Yeah, they have a lot of options. There could be um, a lot of people that are, you know, having feelings for this person, okay? Um, <laughs> something about August 24th could be significant as well. Yeah, you don't want somebody who can't make up their mind about you, okay? Yeah. They're having anxiety about this, all right? Because they don't want to lose you. But then again, they don't want to, like, they're people pleasers too, okay? This person is a people pleaser. They just want, they want, they want their cake and they want to eat it too, okay? This person cannot make up their mind, okay? And I'm also getting something about August 18th as well. And I'm also getting something about September 18th, September 24th or September 8th as well. Okay, um, I'm, I'm also getting, um, June 6th, June 18th, and June 8th as well, okay? Someone could be 44 years old, okay? Um, I'm getting someone doing mirror magic as well, okay? But yeah, this person is having anxiety because they can't make up their mind, okay? They have too many options, yeah. This person is in their feelings about you, okay? You put all these options together and they don't even equal one of you, okay? And they're also um, worried about their stability as well, okay? They have no money as well, okay? And I'm getting that these these are broke bitches too, okay? These bitches is broke, okay? Um, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. They have an indis yeah, they're, they're, it's like their heart is, is, I'm getting someone, this could also be family related as well, okay? This person's family could have, um, told them to, like, get rid of you or something, okay? Their family doesn't like that you have such a hold on this person, okay? But... You are someone who is very abundant, okay? You're very abundant. You hold the key to the door to value, okay? You bring this person a lot of value. They also feel like to be with you, it raises their, their status, okay? Like when they're with you, it's almost like their value ra uh, raises. Like you increase their value, okay? Yeah. But this person could be making you wait, okay? And that's because they're busy being deceitful, okay? Don't wait on this person, okay? I'm just saying, you are valuable. You, you deserve someone who isn't going to have you questioning yourself and, and, you know, questioning your own value and your own worth, okay? You need somebody who is going to be sure about you who wouldn't let family get in the way of their connection with you, okay? You need someone that, and I just saw 1111, you need somebody who is going to actually be there for you and, and you know, not flake and not be wishy-washy, okay? And, and, you know, ooh, shiny thing, okay? No, we, we, we are so much more valuable than that. Okay, they wouldn't want that. They wouldn't some. They wouldn't want someone to do that to them. They think that sex, sex is the way, is 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 their is their, you know. The door to their happiness. Okay. They think that sex is going to cure their sadness. Okay. Okay. This person thought that. Having reckless sex with all of these options 
was going to make them happy, okay? That, which They thought that that was going to, you know, cure their sadness, all right? And they're crying over you, okay? It did not help them at all, okay? They're realizing that that's not the answer, okay? Someone is... going through an, an emotional storm right now, okay, over you. And the fact that you're so balanced, okay, is what I'm getting. This person didn't appreciate you, okay? They didn't, okay? And these other people, they're, they don't appreciate them like you did, okay? They don't talk to them the way that you did, all right? They're missing, they're missing the way that you talk to them. Um, I'm also getting that you know, they're missing when you guys got along, okay? They miss your voice as well, all right? Yeah, and they miss the love that you gave them. Like, when you talked to them lovingly, okay, they miss that. Um, because it was genuine. And I'm just getting that they, they're holding back from you, okay? Someone thinks that you could be doing spell work on them because they, they, because they care so much about you, okay? It's called real love, okay? Yeah, you don't have to do spell work, okay? Your divine energy is, puts a spell on people enough, okay? Your divine energy is like putting a spell on people, okay? You don't need a spell work, okay? It's natural, okay? Yeah, something about you also have a contract coming in, okay? You have a contract coming in, okay? When it comes to finances, when it comes to your work, okay? And it's like somebody is telling them to follow their heart, but they can't, they can't figure that out because like you're, you're in their heart and their family's in their heart too, but their family's telling them to, to let go of you. Okay. And so it's like, they're, they're at a crossroads. Okay. Yeah. Patience. Okay. And this person has a contract with you in the spirit. All right. Um, Oh, they're t oh, they're walking away from some karmic contract here, okay? They're walking away from some karmic contract and they're thinking about you. They're thinking about the value that you brought to them, okay? Because these these karmics, they they don't bring value, okay? It it doesn't matter how many sexual partners they have, okay? They don't equal up to you because they don't they don't bring the value that you bring, okay? Yeah. And, and it's like you're, like, home to them, okay? Like, this connection with you is, like, home. It's, 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 like, deeply rooted in them, okay? It's like you guys could have had a lot of lifetimes together, okay? Yeah. Look. They want to follow their gut instinct, okay? And that's to... They want to have a happy family, okay? And it's like their confidence comes from their family. They're, they could even, okay, yeah, they, they're not talking to you. They could be um, just like, they want to make their, they want to make their family happy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They could be no contact with you because they were, they're trying to make their family happy. Okay. I'm talking like, you know, like this could be like a father figure or a mother figure or something like that. Okay. Um, like, <clears throat> but they're, they're like really unhappy about this twin flame situation. Okay. They're not balanced anymore. Okay. It's like, they don't have their other half. It feels like, okay. It's something about 
September 22nd as well. September 19th, September 14th, June 14th, okay? June 22nd, Magician in the Mirror. Okay, yeah. Somebody has done some spell work. Somebody's doing sex magic on them, okay? Yeah, somebody's doing sex magic on them, yeah. Okay, this could be a Queen of Pentacles, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be, though. Um, and it's like, they could be trying to get away from this person, okay? Because they're thinking about the happiness that they had with you, okay? Yeah. I feel like they're cutting people off, okay? They're cutting people out of their life. Um, but someone is... It's like they're holding themselves back from you, Okay? Hmm. Yeah. Because they can't make up their mind. They have a lot of different influences coming at them, okay? They're, although they are attached to you, okay? They're, they're addicted to you, okay? And they're also... They also feel like you're doing spell work on their, on their, they, they think that you did a love spell on them. But. I feel like they're also getting bad luck. Okay. Bad karma. 1331 could be significant as well. Okay. They want to heal something. They want to heal a connection, either with their family or they want you to, like, be a part of their family, okay? But they want to, like, heal things between you guys, okay? Something about... What is this? Someone wants to take action towards you, Okay. I feel like they're going to either call you, they're going to, they're going to reach out. They're, they're talking about taking action towards you. Okay. They could be talking to their friends. They're, they're telling their friends that they have this attachment to you. Like they're, like they're addicted to you. Okay. They're heartbroken over this, this silence. Okay. This, this period of separation. Okay. Is what I'm getting. They're heartbroken over this separation here. Okay. But they were showing appreciation to somebody else. They were showing appreciation to a queen of pentacles, okay, could be. They were they were giving their energy and attention to somebody else here, okay, for financial reasons. They were being deceitful, okay. Um, but that's because they're... Their connection to source is not... It's like they're, they're running dry, okay? Like there's, there's something, there's a connection to source that is, is not, it's been like severed, okay? And they're having anxiety and they don't even realize this though, okay? They don't realize that their connection to the divine has been, like there's no, it's like they have karmic debt, okay? They owe, they owe karmic debt, Okay. But they're thinking about you, okay? They are literally thinking about you constantly, okay? And they're thinking about being, they want to be with you. And it's almost like this is secret, okay? This is like a, this is like they're secretly like wanting to just be with you, okay? But they want to like make their friends. They want to make things, they don't, they care more about a group of people and what they think. Okay. Yeah. But it's like they know that with you. They would have value. They would have. They would add more value to their, to their lives. Okay. Like you add value to this person. You balance this person out. Okay. 1122 could be significant. Um, but yeah. This person is like. Going on this. It's like. 
they've they've decided to go on this journey with all these options okay there's so many different ways that they can go okay <clears throat> And it's like they just want to follow their heart, their happiness, okay? But I'm getting that you you took your power back, okay? You took your power back and you walked away from this person. They couldn't make up they couldn't make up their mind, so you made it up for them, okay? Yeah. Yeah, but this person wants to take action towards you now, okay? I yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Because yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not taking that. You're not allowing this person to just have you as an option. That's not how it's going to work. No. <laughs> yeah. But they're, look, they're thinking about being celibate. They're thinking about just, you know, going down a certain path with you. Wow. Actually, they want to heal things with you. Okay. They're thinking about being celibate. They're thinking about being celibate. Okay. And fulfilling this contract with you. Okay, because you're the one you bring them love and healing. You you heal this person. Okay, you make this person happy. You feel like home. You bring balance to this person. Look, yeah. And whoever they've been messing with, whoever whoever they've been messing with, they have a, a poverty mindset. Okay. <laughs> I mean, either way. Because you're abundant, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that, you know, that makes you any better, okay? But it does help. And when you have goals and you have aspirations, it's like, when you have, have when you have morals and, and goals, I think that's sexy, okay? When a guy doesn't have any goals, they don't have any, like, um, like, you know, like all they want to do is make other people happy. Like when, if they only want to make their, their family happy or their friends happy, that's not, that's not sexy to me. It's not, it's not, it doesn't look good. It doesn't, because I mean, I mean, but it, it's, it's never up to you what they place value on. Okay. We can't make someone place value on us. Okay, we can only value ourselves and, and show somebody how to treat us, okay? And as long as we're not, we're not allowing somebody to treat us like an option, then they know that they can't, they can't do that with us, okay? This person is happy with nothing, and that's fine. But they're, you know... Um, They know that you're their twin flame, okay? I feel like you need to have patience, all right? It's all about divine timing. There's something about October 2nd as well, or this could be February 10th as well, okay? Um. Something could be happening from October 2nd to February 10th, okay? Um, I feel like this person does want to take action towards you to heal the connection that you guys have, okay? I'm also getting that you would benefit by, um, by having a, a workout routine, okay? Yeah, like a like a like exercise routine, okay? And happiness and joy is is the best healer, okay? You need to sleep a little bit more, okay? Um I'm getting that you could benefit from sleeping and meditating a little bit more, okay? That's yeah. I'm also getting that by staying in no contact with this person, 
you are healing, okay? This person, when they try and get a hold of you, they trigger you again, right? So just try and, you know, heal from this person, okay? And, and just focus on you because this person, yeah, they could be just focused on their, their stability, okay? They could have to move, okay? Something about moving. You're gonna find out about all these options though, okay? But they're thinking of you, okay? <laughs> like I said, they're they're being manipulated. I feel like this person wants to love on you, okay? But like secretly. Like it's almost like they can't tell their it's almost like Romeo and Juliet, like they didn't like their families didn't get along, okay, or something like that. Yeah, this person is thinking about you secretly, okay? There could be a queen of pentacles in their feelings, okay? Um, because someone is holding back from them, okay? Yeah, but someone's trying to balance out their um, stability, okay? Patience, because, look, you need to just have patience, okay? Because there is a victory, there's a victory that is that you are destined to have here, okay? I'm getting like something something happening in between October and February, okay? Um, like a like some sort of victory, okay? Like I'm getting this could even be like someone going viral as well, okay? Something about a contract here, okay? About for with a business. I'm getting like you have a contract to create some business here, okay? This is your door to value. There's something about you taking action toward... Okay. You could even be getting a contract with a with a company as well, okay? This is going to open up a, a huge doorway for you, okay? Yeah. Something about... Yeah. But I'm getting that this person just, they can't make up their mind, okay? They don't, they don't know which way to go. So, yeah, you're making it up for them. You're making your mind up for them. Yeah. If they can't, if they can't, if they don't realize that they want you, then you don't want it. Yeah. You want somebody, you want someone that is sure of you. Right? Yeah. But someone... They're mirroring these options, okay? So, yeah. They can all be toxic together, okay? Yeah. Um, I feel like this person is trying to stay happy. This person is trying to stay, like, like upbeat and, and pretend like they're happy, but they're not. They're not, okay? God is trying to talk to them. God is, like, trying to... Show them, send them signs, okay? About, you know, about following their heart, okay? They've been guided to follow their heart, okay? But it's like their confidence comes from, you know, their sexual drive, okay? So it's like they, they get their confidence from and their value from um, their ability to put it down, okay? It's like that's where their confidence comes from. So it's like they need people to be like sprung on them. They need multiple people addicted to their sex, okay, for them to have confidence. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're like, I'm just getting like, they could be talking to a bunch of people online, okay? But in the back of their mind, they're still attached to you, okay? It's like they're, they're trying to, they're trying to, um, mask all of their, their, their pain and their, you know, the fact that they want a, a connection with you. They're trying to mask all of that with these other options, okay? With, with sex, okay? They're trying to basically shove their feelings down and, and just have surface level relations, relationships, okay? Yeah. They're just going through the motions at this point, like patience, okay? Yeah, this person is gonna go through a lot of karma, okay? They have a long road of poverty ahead of them for choosing these other options, okay? Yeah. For moving away from you, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Someone's birthday could be February 13th as well, okay? Also, I'm getting that you have a lot of options too, okay? You got a lot of options, but you aren't you aren't dealing with any of them, okay? Because you value yourself, okay? It's like it's like you are on this road to value, okay? And and you know that creating more more soul ties is just going to, you know, What people can't have, you know, when there's when there's a lot of something, then it's it's not as valuable. Okay, you have something that's rare because you don't you don't entertain a bunch of people. Okay, you have something that's rare. All right, this person's going to realize this. I'm getting it's probably going to be a little too late. Okay, so. I do see, yeah, this person is getting rid of all of their third wheels. Wow, hold on. Someone, someone tempted this person, okay, and they didn't go for it. This person actually might be growing, okay, they're comprom they want to compromise with you, and they want to, oh, fuck. This person is going through a lot of spiritual warfare, too, okay? This person would just disrupt your your progress, okay? So just keep going, okay? Whatever you're doing, yeah. <laughs> and Spirit just said, good news, they're cursed now. They're cursed. When it comes to their love life, okay? Um... They're mad at their family, okay? They're mad at their family for for talking them into um, for talking them into leaving you, okay? They want they want to apologize, okay? They're mad at their family for talking them into um, you know letting you go and and going with these other options that they didn't even want, okay? Yeah, they're lonely. They could even be sick, okay? Like, that could even be in a hospital, okay? They're, they're over here sick, okay? And, and you're getting good news because you've, you've been just loving on yourself, okay? That's what they should have done. But you've been loving on yourself, okay? They're mad, okay? You could have, um... They're mad about the fact that you have stability, okay? And theirs ended, okay? 
but they're strategizing something, okay? They're strategizing making a return, okay? They have a reserve. They have a desire to be with you. They have a desire for tranquility and, and peace, and that's with you, okay? Yeah, this third party tried to tempt them, and they didn't go for it. Look at them. They're like, I don't want it. They're like, I'm good, okay? Yeah, their goal was to... Um, I'm getting that this this third party's goal, okay, was to make them homeless with them, okay, was to like, that's weird, okay, that's weird. Their goal was to like, they they were jealous of this person, okay. Somebody's goal was to make this person homeless and and not have stability, okay. Yeah. While well, you're just over here minding your business, okay? Meditating, taking care of yourself, okay? But someone is mad at the fact that you have, like, yeah, like, they have nightmares about losing you, okay? Ah, oh, that's so sad, y'all. I'm getting, like, this person could be awakening, okay, to what they've been doing, okay? They've been blind to what, what they've been doing. I'm getting that they're awakening, okay? They're withdrawing from, from, yeah, this is like, they're, they're watching you. They're stalking you, okay? They want to make a promise to you, okay? They could have made a promise to their friends as well, okay? Yeah. They could have made a promise to one of their friends that they would always indulge with them, okay? That they would always, like, be a third party, okay? Wow. They've lost you, yeah. Someone could be, like, a mechanic, okay, with this... Or a chef, okay, something like that. Or a coach, okay? Someone could be a coach, someone could be a teacher, okay? Someone made a promise to a group of people and they feel trapped by it, okay? So, yeah. They feel responsible for somebody. They're planning on bringing justice to the situation, okay? They want to, like... They want to... Show some kindness, some mercy, I guess, some charity, okay, and give you a gift. They could be inspired to give you a gift of some sort, okay. Um, they're daydreaming about this, okay, but they're hesitating because they need to save money, okay. But yeah, that's the message that I have for y'all, okay. That was a fucking sad reading, okay. But yeah, you're gifted. Okay, you are a gift. So, if it resonated or if it brought any value, let me know down in the comments. And until next time, bye. Love you. Mwah.